61A lecture number 10, announcements. Entries in the completely optional hog contest are due today. We will run the tournament over the next couple of weeks. Homework four is due on Thursday. If you want help, there's a homework party on Wednesday evening. The second project in this course will be released very soon. It's called the MAPS project. It's due next Thursday. Most students tell me that it takes a bit less time than HOG. So it's not a huge project, but it's still a project, and therefore you should carve out quite a bit of time for completing it. You can earn an early submission bonus point for submitting by next Wednesday. And we'll also have a project party on Wednesday to help you out. Finally, midterm one results should have been returned to you via email. The exam and solutions are posted here. If you find that we misapplied the rubric for a question, please fill out a regrade request by Sunday. Now this exam is not going to determine your grade in CS61A. It's the first of two midterms and it counts for less than the second one. So what grade you'll actually get will be determined by mostly by the work that you're going to do in the future, not what you've done so far. So if you didn't get the score that you want, don't panic. There's still lots of time to improve. However, I'd like to say a few things about taking exams here at Berkeley. Most of you are used to getting very high scores on every exam you've ever taken, and that's great. That's how you got to Cal in the first place. Here we often write exams that really push you to combine ideas that you've learned in new ways in order to demonstrate full mastery and creative thinking at the same time. These are not exams designed to give high scores to everybody who knows what's going on. So it might be the case that you've learned a lot and you understand a lot of the material, but you didn't get a perfect score. And that's okay. Your grade in this course really doesn't matter as much as you might think. Really learning the material well is pretty important, however, if you want to continue on in computer science. So please don't use this exam to evaluate your own self-worth and don't compare your score to other people. Just focus on the parts that you didn't get right. Make sure that you prepare a little bit differently in the future in order to do well on those parts. And then you'll make progress, which is really the most important thing. Regardless of whether you're happy with your score or wish you had done better, please keep in mind that most of this course lies ahead of us. And there's still a lot to learn, so focus on that.